we are going camping today. It's Friday, Isabel's still in bed. It's about 20 to nine in the morning and I'm just getting dressed and doing a last bit of packing before leaving for the day. Excuse the unmade bed. I'm taking the duvets and a pillow. <laughs> so I didn't bother making the bed. Just a few last bits going in. Well, we're on our way. As you can see, we've already oh, filled the car just with my stuff. Now, while I'm doing my filing at IB's office, IB is gonna be further packing the car with all the camping gear. <laughs> this does not bode well. And all, and all his stuff and also we need to go shopping for food if we need anything else which we might do we've arrived at my boyfriend's house uh just gonna make a quick cup of tea oh look there's a reflection of me in the kettle and uh, we're gonna take it up to the office and get to work i have arrived in the office just waiting for ib to come and get me started on today's jobs there's not a lot i can film in here really because there's lots of sort of private information dotted around everywhere <laughs> do a shot of the floor if you like oh some scrunched up paper that didn't quite make it into the recycling bin i've done me filing now only an hour and a bit ib is packing stuff for the camping i'm going for a quick shower now this is the plan because we're not sure about the facilities in the campsite and whether it's actually going to be practical oh it's gone dark <laughs> to have a shower or not so i'm just having one now and then i'll have one on sunday when we get back oh more camping gear all over the bed is that what they call a solid fuel cooker there on the bed oh there's more and more we're not gonna fit this in the car. I'm all showered, I'm preparing some lunch now. I brought this from home. It's left over from last night, actually, at one of my pasta tomato dollops. I'm gonna do one of these rolls with it in the oven now. So I've got that preheating. Hopefully I don't fill the house up with smoke this time. <laughs> Here's our lunch already, the reheated pasta. I spiced it up a bit with some chili and lemon and stuff. The freshly baked bread and also with cheese. Now we've got two lots because I didn't realise there was some in the fridge already. Lunch has been eaten and Ivy's having a shower now and he's going to get ready then after that. I've been packing just perishables really, not a lot. I'm just hoping to avoid spending time browsing around a supermarket. There's some bread out of the freezer that I've just bagged up in two different portions. I'm not into bread much, so that's just for IB. Just grabbed a random carton of soya milk out of the cupboard, a couple of peppers that are in the fridge and some spring onions, which was all the veggie I had in his fridge, apart from potatoes, but I don't really want to cook those. Some wraps, tin of sweet corn. Do you know, I think it'll be fine. IB would rather buy food there but the thing is, we don't know what is going to be available or if there's going to be limited capacity, especially because of the pandemic, just don't know. So basically, we've got contingency food that we may or may not eat. That's basically what it is. So I'm not going to too much trouble. I've kind of gone to quite a lot of trouble, but you know what I mean. I'm going to spend the rest of the time washing up while he finishes his shower and then we should be good to go. We're finally on our way, aren't we, IB? With a big bulging car full of stuff that we may or may not use. <laughs> I don't know. We don't really need very much from a shop but we do need beer and Alpro coconut if we can get it because we got coffee and no milk that won't curdle let's go there so that's all the shop is going to be in a services and we're here kind of Ordinary soya. They don't have the coconut. You've got some of you. Don't have San Miguel. Heineken, then I guess. Or Carlsberg. Oh no, not Heineken. What am I thinking? Actually, no, I don't like Heineken. Just quickly looking in the long life section, but I don't see it. Hey, look at these. One pound twenty-nine for the instant porridges. I got three for a pound in B&M yesterday. We are leaving Wales. When we get to our side, we'll definitely be in England. Well, there's a nice bridge over there, isn't it? Lovely. We're in Wiltshire at the moment, apparently. Been going for a while, haven't we? What time is it now? Just ten past three. There's a net thing there. Is that fair? Cricket. Crickets, cricket nets. It's half past three. I'm sitting right by the food bag. The food bag is just within my reach. If I just stick my arm down there, and I knew the sneaky Snickers bars were there, so. I've succumbed to temptation. I think we're just coming through. Ivy's calling it Froom. I thought it was From. F-R-O-M-E. The houses are a different colour in this part of the world. They're kind of yellowy, aren't they? Bath stone, you were saying, weren't you? Sandstone, I'm guessing. Uh, 11 of our Earth minutes and we'll be there. And Ivy is starting to get very excited like a little boy now. We're gonna <laughs> see his friends. Go that far. I would.
we're here. We've just missed it, but um, it's Tucker's Grave Inn, apparently. We're just arriving at the car park. Oh, I see people with instruments already. Right. People with fiddles going that way. Oh, I think we have to go here. Check in here. So this is called Not Not Mel's. Well, I don't know whether they Isn't called it? it that. Oh, I thought they had. It's Not Not Mel's. It's Not Not Mel's. But I don't know whether that's the official name. Oh, right. Oh, OK. Oh, that's confusing. See, this event's been going for decades. Basically, it's a big session weekend, isn't it? Irish session weekend. Irish or just traditional music? Irish. Irish, more predominantly. And it's been happening for decades and decades. And it used to happen in a place called Mel's. And then it changed location. But instead of calling it after the new location, they called it Not Mel's. But now this is not where it was. So now it's not Not Mel's. I'm confused. <laughs> and we're very nearly about to check in to the campsite. Oh, it's exciting. It looks really nice here. We're just turning around to go back out the way we came because apparently there's a special bit for the musicians. Oh, oh. Look, he gave us a map of the campsite. He says he's very busy here. 250 people every weekend. IB says we're here. Proper toilets, apparently. There are proper toilets by the pub, but there's also some porta somewhere in the field as well. IB's looked up another route. Oh, I'm going to go another way. He's got impatience. <laughs> impatience is a virtue. No, it isn't. Can we, uh... Well, there's the port, so look. Oh, yeah. Quiet time between 11 pm and 7 am. <laughs> I did wonder if we were going to get rudely awoken by banjos at dawn. Yeah, the pub's only open till 11, that's not great. No, I know. It's a good job we got some beer. <laughs> oh, oh, more loos. There's loads of loos, look, but they're porter loos. This is the spot. Marks the spot. Yep. I can hear music coming from the pub in the distance, and uh, we're about to set up camp here. This is going to be interesting. It's been a while. We've borrowed a fancy schmancy tent, haven't we? A fancy pop up one, apparently, that's blacked out, so when you wake up in the morning, it's not really bright. Gosh, I think I'm gonna to have to put the camera down and yeah. report back when I've done something. It's an inflatable tent. IB is pumping it up with an air pump, a hand one. Very interesting. Never seen anything like it before. I'm gonna hold it up, I'll get some pegs on. Oh, I'm gonna wait and see what it did first. Oh, it's gone really rigid. Yeah, that's hard. Well, it's kind of up. I haven't looked in it yet. It's a fancy one. So the main rigid parts were actually inflatable, done with a foot pump or a hand pump. Sorry, it's one of those ones with two hands. That's really absolutely rock solid, that is. That's not going anywhere. And it's an all-in-one tent, so there wasn't an inner lot and then an outer, if you know what I mean. Like my tent, I've got a dome tent somewhere in the loft. Right, let's have a look in, first time. We're leaving a little passage here. There's going to be a sail or something IB's putting over the top between the car and the tent. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it is dark in here. Look, a lovely dark tent. There it is. That's nice and spacious. I haven't pegged it out very well, have I? It's a big sort of kink in there. It's probably a bit I should have pegged. I'll just, I don't know, I can probably press it out, can I? Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's it's the ridge of the thing. That's why. Look. Wow. So yeah, very nice. I think I'll be very comfy in here. It's already very, very hot, though. Whoa, I'm sweating. I am. Yeah. I thought it was going to be freezing cold all weekend, but so far, I'm hot. <laughs> all right, time to make it all homely then. This is the bit I like. I'm like Anne, that famous five when it comes to tents. I like getting all the beds set up and making a little pantry area and sorting it all out. Lovely. So, some time later, and IB has set up an enormous man area here. <laughs> He's also brought an entire table and pantry. I would I'd never do that, you know, I just sit on the grass, cross-legged and do it. As long as I've got a little wind guard, I'm usually happy. And I usually just like have all that in the in the porch of my tent, really, just sort of stacked up. But anyway, we have it, so we are in luxury. We've got some water. I'm just steeping a cup of tea. 
IB says he's not hungry, but I'm going to try and persuade him to at least to have some noodles before he goes to the pub. So this is the area. We haven't put the guys on this side of the tent, so we've got a thoroughfare. <laughs> yeah. IB insists he wants to sleep in the car. I think it's uh, just a bit of extra acoustic separation. So yeah, it's the campsite, Lou's over there. I don't know where the water is yet, but IB's brought quite a lot from home so far, so we're not desperate for it just yet. The pub's just by there, so we'll be heading down there for some tunes later. I'm gonna sort my cup of tea out now, and then I'm gonna put the kettle back on to do some of these coca things, because we really are gonna just grab something very quick tonight so we can get in and join people. Right, that's back on for the noodles. Now then, let me show you my little tent set up here. There it is, my bed. Look, it's like luxury, isn't it? Luxury, there's my wardrobe. That's it, oh, there's my rucksack. <laughs> and some just packaging for stuff. Don't quite know where else to put that yet. Oh, there we are, it's lovely. When I be, look, packed me a brand new toothbrush. <laughs> I use an electric one at home. <laughs> I'm on to my afters now, a bit of cherry cake. Mm. We are off to the pub to play some tunes. drinks but I'm on now at last what time is it half ten I think something like that yeah half ten just got back to my tent I had an absolutely brilliant night I played loads of tunes all night with people that some people i would known for years but haven't seen for decades which is amazing to catch up with them and lots of people I've never met before as well but I'm going to bed now in my tent but if you've enjoyed today's video please give it a like because it really helps the channel cry so I appreciate it and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>